Welcome to Tiger Tropics. I thought I've got to drop a video. There's uh, loads of little bits and pieces going on, or big bits and pieces, depending uh, what you think. Right, so uh, where do I start? Uh, cichlids are doing well. Should I show you what's going on with the, um, with the African cichlids? These guys are getting big, hello, and colouring up. <laughs> Look at him. Um, yeah. The whole tank's looking pretty good. Sorry about the bits and pieces that are flown in the water, but I'll explain that soon when I tell you what I've been up to. Right? So, let's go through uh, to the angelfish tank. These guys are pretty cool as well. Always lively and um, full of energy. For the moment that the tank goes on in the morning, hello guys. Hello. Yeah, look. Always really happy to see me. Never liked these fish, but I've actually sort of grown really fond of them now. So, yeah, that's me. That's a me thing. Also, a mate of mine um, gave me a whole bunch of convict fr uh, fry uh, to, to rear. So, I literally found... Thanks to Dean Grayson, Greason, Dean, um, who basically gave me, he's, he's, a, he's a postman, and he was driving around and saw this tank in someone's front garden, which I took, built a little stand for it, and the thing looks pucker. This is it, this is the tank. Literally out of a bit of um, uh, timber. And do you know what? This wood here, was literally part of the uh, 50p um, donation wood. I was very lucky in that respect. And uh, I had an old BioFlow filter from uh, a dual tank as well. Focus. So, come on, focus. Ah, uh, look at why well, being a bitch for. Right, so I basically set that up and um, put one of those submersible lights in there. But, that's not too important. What's important are these little guys in here who are growing very, very rapidly. In fact, I'm getting quite a lot of algae growing in this tank. You know, it's not been established for very long, but um, what I'm using is the, the eco-complete substrate, which comes with bacteria. These had, uh, these came from an established tank, these ones, not this one. Um, and the whole light cycle and everything, it's in the darting about, um, basically created all this algae that's starting to come up. Well, tomorrow I've got a, 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 a clean that I've got to do with a tank, so it'll look a lot better. It's just a lot of things going on, I thought I'd, I'd show you guys. Um, also, I got, I will be changing the, the top to this because it's all, all over the place, and it's actually designed for a... Uh, dual 125 Rio 125 so that will change I will I will sort that out but for a tank that I didn't pay nothing for and um, I think the stand all together cost me about 30 quid uh, materials and paint and everything and look loads of crap underneath it fantastic right obviously we know about this tank still looking pretty Still waiting for growth. Now, I'm planning to move the location of this tank because I'm going to do another video. The, the tank at the shop where I work is growing amazingly. And it's really what I want out of this tank as well. And I've been thinking about it. What's the difference between this tank and the one at the shop? I mean, they're both using the fluval light. They're both on the same uh, light cycle. They're both uh, using the same soil. They've got the same plants apart from the Anubiuses in there. But the growth in the one in the shop is amazing. Uh, this one, oh, another difference is, is I've got the, the peace lily on the top, which obviously is growing amazingly, uh, but could be sucking out nutrients. I'm not too sure. Um, but I am going to do, do some bits and pieces. I'm getting good growth from like your um, Cryptochronas and that kind of stuff which is great. 
Oh, you remember this guy? <laughs> he was uh, the Rainbow Cichlid, uh, part of the Rainbow Cichlid Fry. He's the only surviving one. And he's grown, he's grown quite well, you know. When he gets to a substantial size, I'm going to put him in here. Which is, leads me to this tank over here. Which was the old five foot tank. Which um, I've now gone and purchased two beautiful and very large Oscars. Which are not too happy with me filming them. Hello. Now, what I've done is I've done a fish cycle on the tank. Everything, everything corroborated. I had zero zero on the, 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 the tests. And um, what I'd use is basically some media out of here. Put it in here with new media, um, some old filter floss. So it was literally like half a tray full of old uh, media. I thought, well, that's, that should be enough. That should be enough. Well, no, because I've just done a test, and at the moment I've got uh, what's that? 0.25 ppm of nitrite and 0.50 ppm of uh, ammonia. Which obviously zero and zero is where you want to get. So these guys are not eating, they're not too happy yet. So literally what I've done is uh, let's go back over to the other the other tank. Is I've taken out two trays of old media out of this, which is now like a, a month old and you know very well established in there now. Um, and each tray is pretty big. I mean, yeah, here's a spare one I've got over here. Um, to show you, that's the amount of media that's been added to that filter now. Which is quite a bit. So I reckon by the morning... Or, yeah, by the morning I reckon... Look, I mean, look, at the, look at the size of these trays. They're huge. And I've literally filled that filter now with uh, two trays of old media, right? And when you say, hold up, but how about these lot? Well, because that, that filter there has already got half a, um, a filter full of media, old media. Now it's got half a filter full of new media, plus still running FX4, which is killing it. So, um, we should be good. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, right? So, let's go back to the um, other tank. So, yeah. So, on top of that, in the morning, I get up. What do I find? I find uh, my Sunrise, I think it's called, uh, Cichlid, has been beaten up very truly. Or well truly, I think is that what's said. Um, and it's basically had its eye attacked and its side attacked. Seems alright, but I basically stuck him in here to quarantine him. And um, we're going to treat him with some Melifix as well. To try to fix his wounds. And I'm going to fix him up. He's going to be alright. But my main thing is right now is these two guys. Yeah. They seem alright because look, we've got. They're quite resilient. They're quite resilient. So as long as I bring these levels down, and then the idea is I'm going to put the second, the spare filter on this tank as well. I've got great, um, I've got great gas exchange as well because of the flow. So I really reckon within within the, the, tonight this evening, I'll turn this tank around. I, I think like um, utilizing all the all the filter media that I've got. Yeah, man. I think I'll turn this around. So I reckon by tomorrow morning, these fish will be a lot more happy. Happy? I think there's a H in happy, isn't there? Happy, how's that? Um, so yeah. Yeah, so it, there's a lot going on right now. And I know I haven't posted anything, but I've been quite busy doing this and that. So yeah, um, this was really, this was a big move for me with, with the Oscars. You know, people go, oh, well, you know, people keep Oscars. But for me, what you got to remember is I've been doing this since last March. Yeah? I'm only a new keeper. 
Yeah, but obviously uh, might have a problem here, you know, obsessed just a little bit. Um, so, yeah, sort of delving into everything. So now keeping the bigger fish and actually, like, again, the whole thing of surviving and thriving, you know, make your fish thrive, not just survive. So I will turn this tank around. There's going to be more scaping and stuff to be done on this tank. But as a whole... I really like it. I just, I'm glad that these guys are okay considering um, what's going on. But let me show you one more time how they look. You can see me in the reflection. So, like and subscribe, share the channel, um, I don't know why I'm shouting, but there you go, um, post it everywhere, try to grow this channel out, yeah, it'd be really good, because um, hopefully through things I do wrong, which, which is why I'm learning, I've done everything wrong, every step of the way, uh, for me to learn how to do it right, which should be a t-shirt or something. But, um, yeah, um, so by me doing things wrong, hopefully you learn the right way to do things and you can be better at your hobby and you can help other people as well. And we make this hobby safe, uh, well-informed and, uh, yeah, brilliant. Guys, take care.